The use of artificial intelligence in politics can lead to some unethical decisions. And that begs the question, how might AI impact what we see and think? Our political reporter Justin Gick is here with more. Justin? Monica Allen, the most recent example was in February when AI was used to impersonate President Biden. Voters received a phone call that sounded just like the president telling them not to vote in the New Hampshire primary. Experts say this is just part of what AI can do. Political analyst Dr. Mark Springer says AI is like any other tool. He says how you use it for good or bad. Well, a lot of campaigns, I think, can use it um, as a function to understand kind of a narrative that might work with, you know, different people. Dr. Mark Hagerot is the chancellor of North Dakota University System and has been studying AI for many years. He says he was a historian of technology and ran low-level artificial specialized intelligence in the Navy. Hagerot says it is very easy for someone to learn and operate the technology. That's probably one of the big breakthroughs is you don't have to have a formal computer language to work with it, at least at the basic level. Although AI can have positive uses in politics, there can be many negative impacts as well. Springer points to other democracies, like Turkey, where it has changed election outcomes. It had a huge impact on their election because um, it's, you know, very pervasive. Hagerot says it's very hard for the average person to detect whether a political ad or something else is AI generated. They, they wouldn't have the tools because it's all they have is the, the stuff that might give them that. And that's where it's incumbent on these big companies and the government to, um, to do that, actually. Although AI has been used in national political races, Springer says it has become easily accessible so that you'll soon start seeing it in state and local races. I would like to think that North Dakota is immune from that, but um, I'm not naive enough to say that. I mean, you know, and even if it's not the campaign central that's doing it, you can have an outside group doing it. Both Springer and Hagerot say this technology is not going away and will in fact keep advancing well into the future. Right now, the best advice is to consider where the message originates. President Biden issued an executive order last October where it established new standards for AI safety and security, among other areas. The order was to ensure that America leads the way in seizing the promise and managing the risks of artificial intelligence. Monica. All right. Thanks, Justin.